Problem number 7 referring to the figure compute the maximum force speed that can be applied by the machine operator if the shearing stress in the pin at B and the actual stress in the control rod at C are limited to 4000 PSI and 5000 PSI respectively. The diameters are 0.25 inch for the pin and 0.5 inch for the control rod. Assume single shear for the pin at B. So, based on the figure, kung titingnan natin, since we have a hinge support at point B, so magkakaroon tayo dito ng dalawang reactions, which is the horizontal and the vertical reactions. So, here at point B, we would have here the reaction BY and the reaction BX. Now, the resultant of those reactions BY and BX is the reaction at point B. So since we are asked to determine the maximum force that can be applied by the machine operator, so social nakatakong pa yan, ba? And if the shearing stress at the pin B is limited to 4,000 PSI. So, the shear stress is limited to 4,000 PSI and the actual stress for the control rod at C is limited to so this is for, for B and this is for C that is limited to 5 thousand psi now the diameter are 0.25 inch for the pin so dito sa B we have 0.25 inch the diameter of the control rod is 0.5 inch So, first thing that we are going to do is to summate moment here at point B in order for us to have an equation relating the tension to the maximum force P that can be applied. So, we have summation of moment at B is equal to zero, taking the clockwise rotation as positive. So, we have here CP will rotate counterclockwise, so we have your negative P multiplied by the distance of 6 inches. And the T here will have a vertical and horizontal component. And since we have here the TX and the TY. So, the Tx will not create a moment at point B since zero yung moment arm natin dyan. And the Ty here will create a clockwise rotation. So, we would have here positive Ty multiplied by the distance of 2 inches. And this is equal to zero. So we have here negative 6p plus the ty since this is vertical and the vertical is the opposite side of this. So kung, kung titignan natin, we have here the tx and this is the t. So this is the ty and this angle here is 10 degrees so ty is the opposite of 10 degrees so we have here sine t sine of 10 degrees is equal to zero if we are going to equate this we have 6p kung ililipat natin sa kabilang side ng equation to so we will have positive and we have here two T sine of 10 degrees so divide everything by 2 and we have here 3p is equal to T sine of 10 degrees next we are going to summate 
force as horizontal is equal to zero taking the direction to the right as positive so we have here dx is assumed directed to the right plus tx since dalawa lang naman sila yung horizontal forces this is equal to zero so we have here bx plus a tx that is t x component is adjacent side of 10 degrees so that is cosine 10 degrees is equal to zero so we have here bx is equal to negative t cosine 10 degrees From equation 1, we have here t is equal to 3p over sine of 10 degrees. So, substitute natin siya dito sa t. And we would have here bx is equal to negative 3p cosine 10 degrees over sine of 10 degrees. So, using the trigonometric identities, and we have here 3p cosine over sine is cotangent of 10 degrees. So this is our equation number 2. So next thing na gagawin natin is we are going to summate forces vertical is equal to 0. So summation of forces vertical is equal to 0. Taking the upper direction as positive. So we have here by is directed upward so that's positive. And p here is directed downward so we have here minus p. And the y component of the tension T that is negative since it is directed downward, this is equal to zero. Now we have here by minus p minus ty. So ty is opposite of the angle 10 degrees that is sine. So we have here p sine of 10 degrees is equal to zero but as you can see here from our equation one that t sine 10 is equal to 3p so we substitute this t sine 10 here by 3p so we have here by minus p minus 3p is equal to zero so by and we have here negative p minus 3p is negative 4p and ilipat natin sa right side the equation then we have here positive 4p and this is our third equation so the relationship between the resultant at b here and the component bx and by using the pythagorean theorem we have rb is equal to the square root of bx square plus b y square so we have rb is equal to the square root of bx that is negative 3p cotangent 10 square plus by that is equal to 4p so we have 4p square so simplifying we have rb is equal to the square root of so dito magkakaroon tayo ng p square and p square so if we are going to simplify this we would have 3 multiplied by cotangent 10 so cotangent is 1 over tangent 10 square plus 4 square and we would have 305.47 so we have here 305.47 p square now simplifying this and we would have p if we are going to take the square root of p square so that's p and we have on the other side of the equation as rb and if we are going to take the square root of our answer so we have square root of our answer 
is 17.48 so this 17.48 here ay ililipat natin sa kabilang side equation so we have here over 17.48 and this is our equation number 3 so if we are going to base on the tension of the rod since we have here the stress is limited to 5000 psi and the tension of the rod is this force P here since this is the rod and the force acting perpendicular to that control rod is the tension T so this is equal to T over the area which is pi diameter square over 4 so since the diameter of the control rod is 0.5 so we have here 0.5 inch square over 4 now from the relationship of the T to the P, since P yung kailangan natin, T is equal to 3P over sine 10. So, papalitan natin ngayon ito si tension ng 3P over sine 10. So, solving for the value of P, we have... 5,000 is equal to 3x over sine 10 over the area that's pi multiplied by 0.5 square over 4. Shift solve equals and we have 56.83 pounds so this is equal to 56.83 pounds now if we are going to to base on the shear of rivet so based on shear of rivet we have shear stress tau is equal to V over A. So, since shear stress is limited to 4000 PSI, so we have here 4000 PSI is equal to V. So, CV is actually the reaction at B. So we have V is equal to RB. But RB is equal to, based on our equation 3, RB is equal to 17.48P. So nilipat-lipat pa natin, tapos ibabalik pa rin natin. Diba? Yung umalis, tapos babalik. So we have seventeen point forty eight P in replacement of the RB here for the shear force and the area is pi diameter of the pin at B is point twenty is point twenty five inch. So we have here point twenty five inch square over Four. So solving for the value of P here, we have 4,000 PSI is equal to 17.48 P over the area that's pi times diameter 0.25 square over 4. Shift solve equals and we have 11.23 pounds so 11.23 pounds so if we are going to choose between the p based on the tension of the rod and the p based on the shear on rivet so we will choose the smallest value so we have here p is equal to 11.23 pound and this is the answer so if Ibig sabihin, the one that governs the design is the shear on rivet and not the tension of the rod.